Travis. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome everyone that's here. So ex extremely excited to have all of you here and all of you that are joining in online. Say hello to the online audience. Hello. 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 Um, this is the seventh class of the Marcus Graham Project's I Create Summer Boot Camp. As we told them, and as we kind of said to ourselves, uh, seven is uh, can be a number of completion. Um, and as we've thought about as the team, Jamil, Larry, uh, Ramon, as we thought about uh, what we wanted out of this summer, uh, we wanted to make sure that we chose a class that will continue to complete uh, the vision that we've had for this program. We're incredibly excited that for the first year, we have 100% uh, sponsorship to fund this initiative. So we're extremely excited about that, all the sponsors. that have made that happen, PepsiCo, Peace by Dre, TPN, White and Kennedy, TM, uh, here for allowing us to have space. Um, and um, I think I mentioned White and Kennedy, uh, Leo Burnett, and uh, a number of friends. So as we fundraise, we also friend raise. So mm -hmm. we're incredibly excited to have friends that are supporting our program. Um, I'm going to shut up because I think there are 15 amazing individuals that you We'll want to hear from that have far better things to say than, than I could ramble on. So, introducing you to you the 2015 class of the Marcus Graham Projects so I created. Some of them. Imagine a world where there is no color, no language, and no sounds. The human race would have to depend on the expression to communicate using only simple motions and invisible ways to get their point across. Just like a pulse, something which is not visually apparent, but is necessary for life. We are the pulse of your brand. We are the wave of creativity. We discover your value to channel an emotional connection. Think about the words that are not exchanged through a physical connection. These actions are so deep that they're not heard, nor can they be seen or touched. But effortlessly, they resonate. We learn from the past, we are the now, and we create the future. We are 15 hours. Good morning, everyone. My name is Hisham Sajani. I'm a recent graduate with, from the University of Arts London, and I'm one of the art directors. Greetings and salutations. I am Derezi Namorin, born in Miami, Florida. I attended Florida a and University. I'm the media planner. Good morning, everyone. My name is Brian No. I'm from St. Louis, Missouri. I'm currently enrolled in Columbia College, Chicago, and I'm one of the account planners. Good morning, everyone. My name is Lauren Elliott. I'm from Baltimore, Maryland. I graduated from Cornell University with a degree in fashion, and I'm soon to be graduate from the University of Missouri. Good morning, everyone. My name is Rayvon Shelton, a native of Broadview, Illinois, right outside of the Windy City, Chicago. I am a recent graduate of Western Illinois University, from which I obtained my master's degree in English, and I serve as one of the copywriters. Good morning, everyone. My name is Ashley Osborne. I'm from Middletown, Ohio, and I'm also a recent graduate of Ohio University. And along with Ray, I am also a copywriter. Good morning. My name is Brian Montoya. I'm from Miami, Florida. I recently graduated from Columbia College, Chicago, in Cinema Arts and Sciences, and I work in production here. Bonjour tout le monde. My name is Sophia Devant. I'm French, and I have a master in advertising from the Academy of Art University in California, and I'm one of the other writers. Good morning, everyone. My name is Alex Tyree, and I was born and raised in the city in which Mark Twain is quoted as saying, if the world was to come to an end, I would like to live in Cincinnati, Ohio. I'm a graduate of Miami University of Ohio and a brand manager. 
Good morning, everyone. My name is Anthony Crawford. I'm from Memphis, Tennessee. I graduated from MTSU, and I studied graphic design and interactive design, and I'm one of the art directors. Good morning, all. I'm Joshua Gilbo from Atlanta, Georgia, a recent graduate of Kennesaw State University. I'm also one of the account owners. Good morning, everyone. My name is Zachary McGowan. I'm from Kansas City, Missouri, and a recent graduate of the University of Missouri. I'm a brand manager and public relations specialist. Hello, everyone. My name is Clayton Paisley, Jr. I am a recent graduate from Concordia University of Chicago. I am from St. Louis, Missouri, and I am one of the social media strategists. Good morning. I am Cyrus McPhee. I am a recent graduate of Illinois State University. I have graduated with a major of public relations and a business administration minor. I am from Hillcrest, Illinois. I am this team's project manager and also alongside CJ, a social media strategist. Good morning, beautiful people. I am Jay Blacks, hailing from the city of Milwaukee, Wisconsin, also known as the Bruce City, where I'm studying at the University of Wisconsin, Milwaukee. I am also one of your art directors. We, we are, are 15, 15 Hertz. Hertz. 15 Hertz. It's more than scientific jargon. It is a state of creativity. It is the frequency in which the mind is most available, alert but not agitated, aware of itself and its surroundings. It is when the mind is most available and can unconsciously connect to your brain. The 15 hertz is more than scientific jargon because it culminates these 15 individuals standing here right now, entrepreneurs, accomplished military vets, poets, producers, that have worked with, on projects and brands like Under Armour, Sprint, Nabisco, have even contributed towards Tony Award nominated stream plays, excuse me. We are representative of eight different languages, 15 unique backgrounds that have come together to bring harmony between our culture and generation and your brand. Selena, could you please show them how we resonate? Sure. The digital world is a magical thing. About a month ago, we all met online with one big challenge, to create an agency that will provide the new way of expression. This logo right here is a representation of who we are in real life. It's our jewel. It's the representation of 15 talented minds, formed into 15 minds, showcasing the age for Earth. It's the way that we make our client vibrate. Josh, explain the mission. Well, you've heard about each one of us. You've heard about our agency's brand. And you might be wondering to yourself, why 15 hertz? Put simply, 15 hertz amplifies your brand by creating impactful stories that resonate with your consumer. In order for that resonation to begin, identity must be created. It's crucial for the survival of any brand. Brands, like people, have a life cycle. They also have a potentiality for prosperity for all future generations. As the influencers of the millennial generation, we have an innate understanding of change. We've seen it in technology, we've seen it in politics, and we've seen it in culture. And at our agency, we believe that it is a key necessity for our clients to change with their consumers. Thus, we are the translators of our culture. Simply put, we make sure that our clients have a precise understanding of the makeup of their targeted demographics. Josh, talk about the strategy. Our strategy is infused market research, consumer insights, and the behavioral sciences. That combined with our philosophy of six C's allows us to put the message in the right place at the right time for the right person. CJ, can you tell me how we resonate down their timelines? Millennials. Millennials are redesigning what it means to be social. It is no longer just walking up to someone and shaking their hand or looking at them in the eye just to introduce yourself. Social media. Social media is meant to build that interaction, gain that connection, and maintain that relevancy for our clients. Simply watching your timeline no longer is enough. You must view the entire conversation. We analyze the most influential content of the competitor and our clients, putting our clients at the forefront of conversation. But let's get a little bit more creative. So, so at Fiction House, we have eight creators which is a very big number. We have five art directors, two copywriter, and one producer. We are digital architect, authentic storyteller, and also interactive web and graphic designer. And today, I want to introduce you to one of our great talents, Anthony Crawford, to talk more about the website and web design. So, to 
take over the digital realm, you have to have a home, a hub, a place to call your own for your brand. You need a website, and that's what we can provide to the client. Isn't that right, guys? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> on our website, we provide responsive design, content produced by our production team, video, anything that you would want to represent your brand on the digital realm, responsive on tablet, desktop, and even on mobile, like our website right here. But Brian, tell us about production. How do we put that out there? Well, we are incredibly excited to start producing this summer. We have an incredible opportunity to be working with these amazing clients, Usher's New Look Foundation, Beats Electronics, and PepsiCo. And we are incredibly excited to announce that Revolt TV has graciously agreed to promote a summer-long web series that we will be producing. So it will be a 12-long week series that will hopefully provide insight and a resource to other students looking to enter the industry. Marcus Graham Project has graciously opened their doors to us and begun to open opportunities, and it's our job now to begin to open those opportunities to other students. We hope to do that with our web series. Alex, how can they get involved right now? Well, as you can see, we are insanely excited about this journey we're about to embark on. This summer is going to be full of excitement, but we want to include all you beautiful faces right there and streaming right now. So if you could pull out your phones, I'll wait. <laughs> And follow us on Instagram at we are 15HC. And Twitter, we are 15HC. Log on to our website at 15HC.co. Because we are 15 hertz. Thank you, everyone. And just a token of our appreciation, we'd like to give you this. Thank you. Is it some money? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. Any questions for the team? Um, I have one right here. So um, I guess my question is, what are some of your core uh, capabilities in terms of things that you are providing your clients? One of the things that you mentioned was social media. Um, I agree that I think that it's very, very, um, it's very, very prominent in today's society. We all know that. But how else do you plan to maintain a relevancy with your clients outside of social media alone? Okay. Well, uh, based on our competencies, I'll run through those. Our competitive advantages are, number one, we're translators of our culture. We're here to connect our point of view, the, genera the generation of the millennials, and also we're here to maintain relevancy with not just social media, but experiential experiences with the brand connecting our product and creating an environment where we can include all that. And then thirdly, we are a grassroots agency, meaning that we are in the culture of the culture. There is no hierarchy. So the ideas flow to and not perfectly. Thank you. Are you going to be just promoting or uh, developing your concepts for millennials or for old people too? <laughs> well, our, our competency is with millennials, so that is our focus. Tell us about um, the original idea of 15 Hertz. Who, who came up with the idea? Where did it come from? It, it, it was a, a brainstorming thing, but I want, I want the person who actually came up with the name to talk. All right. So when we, look at, when we came up with 15 Hertz, um, it was basically I thought of uh, feeling. That's all, all of us need to have feeling when we're doing advertising. So, so it originally started with uh, 15 hertz. It's a, it's a frequency where it's a sound wave. Something you can't see, some, something you can't hear, you know, the only thing is you can feel. So we're playing with, we're playing with that, that whole connotation, the whole ideology, making something, someone feel it, but not seeing it, being it visually apparent. So just as in, also the other thing we're playing on with, it, so, Vibrations. Vibrations also it's something to resonate. And if you look at being that something to resonate, that means where something that can mean two things: vibrations and also where it's lit, something lingers on, it's everlasting. It, it resonates. So that's what we're playing on that. 
was there any internal struggle with that name or was everybody just like, yeah, that's it? I think so, because at some point with all the names that they came up with, that one was the one who was like, what, 15 her? Yeah. <laughs> 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 that's the one. We, like, at first it was like, maybe 15 with 15 is too much, and then 2015, so it's like all 15 everywhere, but then it makes yeah. sense because that's the oh residence gosh. of it. It's a repetition, <laughs> it's timeless. It's like, it's, it was it. That was like, when we heard 15 her, we were just like, okay. Everybody, like, anonymously, I think they were probably one person against it. Probably not. I don't even know. To be honest, <laughs> what what are the things that y'all are the most excited about for the summer, and what are the things that you are uh, maybe fearful or nervous or anxious about? Well, I mean, personally, I'm excited for all of it. The whole experience, working with <clears throat> multi, many different agencies, brands, and companies, and individuals. That's for me personally. What, I, what I'm wary of is a uh, lack of beauty sleep and messing up my fitness. <laughs> 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 yeah, I don't do that. Yeah. I think 15 Hertz is exciting to grow together because in the event, like we've been here for nine, less than a week and we've learned so much in this first week and I think we are creating a family. So I'm excited and I think we are all excited to make this family stronger and tighter throughout the process and make 15 year grow because the idea also beyond the concept and Anthony could have mentioned that it's it's a it's a responsive logo. So we grow as we grow and we have to help our client grow, we have to make MGP grow and never whoever else is coming through the process with us grow. I think that's what we're excited about. Well, one thing one thing that I'm personally excited about as well as worry about at the same time is the, the many, many arguments that we may have like throughout this whole process. Uh, I'm excited because I know that throughout these arguments that we will create something great no matter how much we disagree, no matter how much we have different viewpoints. There's 15 different people here. We have 15 different things to bring to the table. And I think that we will all contribute in a way that will bring this agency uh, to the forefront of advertising. Um, lastly, if I might add, growing is not easy. There's pain in growing, but that's how you measure yourself. So um, as much as we're looking forward to, we know that it's going to be a challenge. But through challenges, you measure your growth. So what are some of you all's challenges for the summer? Like, what are, what are your weaknesses and how do you plan on tackling those for the summer? I know that time management is a huge thing that many of us struggle with. Um, and I think that it's such a key thing to tackle early on. And that's why I'm so excited that we're going to be hit with such difficult obstacles to overcome. Because we're going to, um, it's going to be trials and so many things like trial by fire. But I think that's where the most impressive growth happens when you're not being sort of like <clears throat> skirted along, you're being really pushed and really, uh, yeah, just pushed to the limit. So that's I, I think when you, have a, when you have a large group like us, uh, communication, can get skewed here and there. So I think one of our challenges would be proper communication and work on our communication skills with one another. That way we can properly communicate to our client and to um, other consumers that possibly interact with our, our agency. And, and, and high level here is, I mentioned we have, entrepreneur, we have entrepreneurs and we have an entrepreneur zeal as a total. And I think sometimes when you're trailblazing like that, um, that can be a hurdle. Um, so with us not having sometimes the precursor for what we're trying to do, um, that could be difficult, but I think we're attacking the right way. We got the right help in the team around us, including the Marcus Grant Project and alumni. Okay, I had a couple of quick comments and a, and a question more of the group. Um, I'm Jeff Zell. I'm actually executive creative director by title um, and an art director by trade. Um, first of all, the presentation is spectacular. Going to 15 hertz, it's such an intuitive name. If you're in the EDM or you're uh, anywhere in that target, I mean, it gets it. Milton Glaser had a great quote. He said, design should be felt, not explained. And that's a really nice way to think about that resonance and low frequency. You know, you can't hear it, but you can definitely feel it. Super cool, Mark, and intuitive stuff is always great. Um, hey, you're welcome to Texas, too. Your time is really short here, and you have a huge agenda and a lot of work to do. Um, one of the things that I would kind of challenge you guys to think about organizationally is who's the leader, who's the president of the agency, if you give it any thought to who's the creative director. At the end of the day, um, it's 
it's cool to be a creator, but somebody has to be the tip of the spear. Somebody has to, and it's good dialogue around where we're talking. Who's going to mitigate some of the differences of opinions? Who's going to, frankly, grab the ball and run with it? How do you negotiate that with your, you know, your bunk mates for the next four weeks? I would really, again, counsel you to, to think about that. You need a very strong face of the agency. A lot of times, you, you don't all get to present. Maybe one or two people go in the room, and that's it. Who is going to be your creative director and who's president? And basically, what I'm asking is, when the crap hits the fan, who gets the phone call? <laughs> so has anybody done any thinking about that? And one, just one more thing I want to say, and it's a little partisan about creatives, but don't be afraid to let a creative run your agency. Yeah, and I, I, I'm going to say something, but I want someone else to say something too. Um, I'm of the belief that leaders emerge, and in the short two days that we've been together physically, we've seen a few of those individuals do that. Um, one of those I want him to speak in is Travis. Three things that we value at 15 Hertz are translate, translating culture, maintaining relevancy, and a collaborative voice. So when it comes to actually being a leader, we have actual leader roles, but when it comes to making significant changes and decisions within the agency, it'd be more so, like he said, grassroots. Uh, horizontally, a collaborative voice you know, on that certain thing. So, having the ability to have a web series on Revolt TV, bravo on that. And when it comes to a season one or a pilot program for a web series, we're looking at the initial cast members <laughs> um, with that life and so on and so forth. So, with that being said, what do you want to contribute to that essence? to that brand, to that beginning, to that version? What new are you going to offer? You said that you wanted to be able to lead and contribute and to inspire new leaders with what you present online, as I hope that we did with you, with Ad Life. We want to give them real life content. We want to show them everything in social, that you say is online, web series online, right? <clears throat> about explaining the story and explaining it well. So, especially on the social media side, we want to explain the story as well as possible by collaborating with our copywriters on every post and with our producer on every web And sorry, point of clarification, just because we're in, in the room and live, live audience, there, there will not be a web series on Revolt TV. It will be a PSA that will promote what they're doing, which will be the web series on there. So. Okay. Just want to clarify that. A promo video placed on Revolt. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't get a call from Keith. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I have a question for you all. So, what, so you know, 15 of you all here, there, there was actually there were 14 of us, but, you know, that's a large group. Um, you know, weighing in on what you all, what your expectation is at the end of the summer. I believe most of you have graduated, right? So, a couple of you, give me, what is your expectation for yourself from now to the end of the summer? You talk about growth, right? But what do you what do you see yourself in the next eleven to twelve weeks? I'd actually like to hear from everybody on that. Okay. Yeah, so, fifteen seconds for each person. I'll start. Um, I look forward to um, knowing a lot more about myself, knowing a lot more about the industry. Um, me personally, I don't come from the same background as all of these people. Um, so I, I just look forward to learning from some of the skills, for example, from the other art directors and being really able to develop those skills and be sure that I could take those you know, to wherever I end up next. Um, and just knowing myself better and being able to speak on that very clearly um, about my goals or where I'd like to do in the future. So. I would like to actually be able to look back at myself during this first week, these first couple of days, and see all of the growth that I've made. We actually had a discussion about that the other day, and I think that that's probably one of the most rewarding things to be able to look at yourself and see that you're not that person anymore. <clears throat> Two of my vices that I've been worried about coming here from the moment that I was chosen was that I knew that we all impress the interviewers at one point, and that's why we were all selected. So in essence, that means that we were all leaders from where we came from. So I was very concerned about how a group of leaders and their respective places would come together 
and resonate, if you will. Um, so I'm looking forward to learning more about myself because with my background being in English, you know, they brought me up in my department at my alma mater to work independently. So most of the work and the writing that I have done has been by myself with one other person, two at the max, reading over my work, and we're having a discussion about theories and things like that. So this experience is going to enhance in a variety of factors that I'm really looking forward to examining at the end of the program. Um, going along with what they said with about growing yourself, I would definitely say that coming in here, I am a copywriter. I have a background in strategic communication, which isn't specifically copywriting, but you know, it's incorporated in there. But I think for me personally, I would love to um, be able to go through this whole experience and give my testimony to other students um, back at my school because there are a lot of people in my program who look like me and if it weren't for me being like ambitious and just going I met um, Lincoln and Larry in Cleveland just applied out of nowhere from a former intern uh, boss that told me about Marcus Graham project I knew nothing about it but I got there and I was like wow like this is so dope I wish that more people knew about this you know so I just want to be able to give my testimony and tell my story and learn from everyone else here. Everybody in this room, I would say, is amazing. Y'all, we all are here for to be here and I'm excited to move forward. I want to get back to the program and that's pretty much what I want to get out of it. Enough, fill myself up so that I can give it back. Yeah, so I, I, myself, I, I'm super excited, not necessarily to, for my own success after this, is it's more so I know that my success is kind of interdependent of these individuals. So I'm actually really excited to help cultivate all of their talents and congruency with mine. So that's really what I'm, I'm really curious to see what's going to happen after this program. And I'm curious to see how some in two days, how these people, have, I've seen them grow and how they'll do it in 11 weeks. 15 seconds. There we go. <laughs> I'm incredibly excited to sort of soak up all the other departments that I really haven't had a chance to be exposed to yet. Um, I went to cinema school, so it was I didn't get any strategy or anything like that. And it's so incredible to be able to pull like my story selling, storytelling stuff into their departments, and I want to pull back into my department. So I want to borrow from everyone and sort of like build up and sort of hopefully share. Um, for me personally. Um, it's the next 11 weeks, I would try, I would want to find whether am I a specialty designer or I'm a leader. Um, Remy over there, he gave us a conversation about how some people are creative, they go in one direction of being a specialty person to focus on one specific talent, or they go into being a creative leader. And right now, I'm trying to figure that out with this journey, and thankfully for Marcus Graham Project, I'm discovering new ways to discover that pathway for me. So I'm more excited about figuring out the ad, uh, the ad world, figuring out how they <coughs> define a specialty designer or a creative leader. And for me personally, just growing into whichever direction I will uh, hopefully be in. Um, this is a very interesting question. Um, the, my first 10, 15 seconds, I want to be a sponge and learn from everybody, not only them, but all the clients, you guys from MGP, everybody on the table, and uh, like make my potential grow bigger with everybody else, along with everybody else. I'm an anthropologist by trade, and advertising is more of a passion for me. But in this short week of participant observation working with these other 14 individuals, I can certainly say that we are new, new, from, new to this industry, but we're ready for professional level work. We are some of the top talent of our generation in this industry. And I can't wait to show you what we're going to bring to you. Similar <laughs> uh, so to Anthony, um, we had a really great session with uh, Remy, basically just kind of talking about um, just us as, uh, as individuals. And I figured out that I made Blank Canvas. So really with these next 11 weeks that are approaching, I'm really just trying to fight it, figure out uh, one where in advertising I can make my biggest impact because some of us have hybrid talents um, and then also uh, we had a conference call and Lincoln basically stated be as entrepreneurial as you want with this program um, so really I want to be able to contribute as many ideas as I can uh, to advance Marcus Graham uh, advance, advance the potential of my uh, team here. Correct. 
Hello, everyone. I'm CJ. Um, I'm excited to actually see where I will be probably within the next 11 weeks. Just simply looking at Prismatic and watching all their videos, we discuss it back at home or whatnot, just keeping up with you all's program. Um, it's exciting to see that we're actually ready to grow. And just talking to these guys throughout this week, it's just been an amazing journey. And I know we're going to have some like discussions, like interactions that are going to be crazy, but I'm excited <coughs> to actually grow with you all. So I'm just excited about it. At the end of these 11 weeks, I want to see us execute organic, impactful, and measurable content and material for our clients, and that it resonates through us all and gives us inspiration to continue this agency at the conclusion of this program. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Where's the uh, collection plate? <laughs> 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 the 15 hertz collection plate. The building, the building fund. <laughs> I want to hear what Chris Maddox says about it. I think I'm saying what else basically. We're all we're learning. So there's no, there's, there's no such thing as knowing everything. So this is what this is a journey for me to understand. One is the is the American advertising agency, and. Um, Marcus, well, the Marcus Rain project is also shaping me as a person to see what exactly like Anthony was saying. I'm, I'm not, uh, and also what CJ was saying. I'm kind of a hybrid, so I don't know. As in, I'm still trying to find myself. But uh, the, the members at the Marcus Rain project are helping me shape me as a person. Secondly, I would like to say that one thing that I would like to see at the end of these uh, 12 weeks is the work that as in the work that we're going to do together, and also the end results. So that's that's the main things for me because. This oh okay. This this is our baby right now, and I would like to see it grow. So yeah. So uh, not to call out, call you out, Joel, but uh, being in service and being in the military, in a short amount of time, like you change a lot. Uh, Thirteen weeks in, in boot camp. I mean, I was a completely different person and forty pound fighter. Push ups in the San Diego sun will do that to you. <laughs> but uh, you you become fiercer, you become more competitive, but you also you want it more. You also have a, a new code, a new way of thinking. You're a whole new person. And I I firsthand account that you can do that within a short amount of time. And so all of us together, we're gonna be lifelong friends after this, or maybe hate each other. <laughs> <laughs> Those two things. And also it's about being better together and changing better. Again, my name is Directly Morin, and uh, I'm hoping Hoping to take advantage of this experience to grow. First, grow, work on my weaknesses. Hope I hope to be a timely person. I want to continue being strategically curious, and then most importantly, find my place in this industry. Thank you. Today, I'm going to make a declaration to challenge myself to challenge myself. Um, all, pretty much all my life, I've considered myself a very creative person, but I think. When dealing in the ad agency or the creative um, professional environment, you have to learn how that works uh, as far as business goes. So I do want to uh, grow within my creative abilities, learn from other art directors and uh, my other core team members, um, and figure out exactly where, where I want to go with my creative talent and how I can express that in a meaningful way. You guys have, I, I can say this now, y'all have made this a lot much a lot easier on me and Lincoln because nobody wants a job, sounds like. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't hear anybody yeah, say anybody I want a job. That I, was, I, mean, I know that may be expected, but you, know, you have some people that are employers in this right, room. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can I make a couple comments? Yes. Yeah. Um, I met most of you at Prismatic Media Group. Um, I think there are students, and then there are students, and you guys are brilliant. And I want you all to know that I, I was very impressed with your opening presentation. Um, but I'm going to get serious here for a second. <clears throat> you're all smart, and you know you're smart. Just understand that in this group, there's somebody smarter than you in a certain area. Always remember that. Every day, and I, I work with people like you, not as brilliant as you guys, all across the board, but um, you're going to be in competition with one another. You don't see it now, but as the, the month progresses, you're going to see that. You're going to get pissed off at one another. 
you're going to have problems. You're going to butt heads. That's great. That's that's wonderful because that's that's that pain that you were talking about. Every day when you head over to this boot camp, leave your ego at the door. I can't give you any better advice than that. Leave your ego at the door. And if you can get through that, if you can listen to other people, because that's the main thing to do with clients is listen. Listen to your listen to your fellow cohorts here. And it will make a huge difference in what gets through every day. So I'd like to actually make one other comment too. Um, I really, really enjoyed the way that you guys opened up the presentation. I mean, it was very, very simple. And sometimes I know going the simple approach, you have a lot of back and forth with it. But what you allowed us to do is you allowed us to listen. We live in a very, very visual world right now, but you tuned us in because we had no choice but to listen. However, I got very, very nervous when you used the word change. You know, you said we're going to make our clients change. And you're working with people like Beats by Dre who Honestly, they may say, what change do we need? You know, they've been very successful. But what you did, that was different, but it was something that you changed, the way that we look at presentations, right? So I would challenge you guys to more so show your clients the change and not be so verbal with that. And then also through that, um, just be mindful of the language that you're using. I think that last year, um, through uh, not only the copy, but a lot of the language and the different words that were kind of put out there, it was um, it all added to the voice of the agency. So I think that through the presentation style, it's always great to stand out, but make sure you really understand the voice of 15 hertz, and that when you guys speak as a presentation, your agency is speaking um, instead of you, if that makes any sense. I have a question as well. Um, there's a saying that says, in order for you to know where you're going, you have to know where you are and where you've been. And Marcus Graham has had a rich history that we've developed so far. Um, but for the viewers who may have not been in touch with Marcus Graham prior to now, uh, can you let them know who Marcus Graham is, um, his relevancy to advertising, and how you guys plan on contributing to that legacy? Marcus Graham is a character from the movie Boomerang. Boomerang is a romantic comedy starring Eddie Murphy that covers the chronicles of his character, Marcus Graham, as he works in advertising with a popular uh, women's perfume brand. The character who was taken from that and applied to this program was used to represent the lack of minorities in advertising. What was the second part to your question, Brandon? How are you using that? How, how Marcus Graham was relevant to advertising. So yes, Marcus Graham is the minority, he represents the minority or the lack of minority representation in advertising. As it was said at, I believe, a Leo Burnett conference, the the uh, advertising ratio, if, if it was going to reach equality, it wouldn't be until 2075. And that's, that's too far. So we're trying to expedite that process. Well, I do want to say, I do want to say that the name fits you all. Um, the gentlemen sitting here are big, are big on energy and is there. I urge you to, to, to have upkeep on that energy as much as you can. This is the first, you know, this is the dance at the wedding. Mm -hmm. It's all fun and games right now. But like the gentleman said here, there's going to be some rough patches. But the 15 hertz definitely feel, uh, fits you. I can feel the energy in the room, um, especially with that name and your persona and your, and your, and your, uh, your poise. So I just want to urge you like, <clears throat> to keep, it, keep that up. Um, that's a great piece of advice to come in humble every day and be sure to uh, just, you know, encourage each other as well as compete because even though you're competing still encourage because the, the more somebody is come it's the harder they go the harder you go so just you know be the name that you created you know 15 hertz be that name you know C create more energy and more wavelengths between one another so the growth can continue to prosper so i'm i'm, I'm very impressed and I, I look forward to the next 11 weeks definitely it's 15 hertz while we've gotten so much Lightning and thunderstorm. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to add one thing just to reinforce the ego at the door. And um, look, you guys are all type A's, and the agency business is filled with them. But there's only a one reason the agency is successful, and it's its culture. I remember um, talking to a chairman of an old firm, and he said, Oh, you spend so much time on culture, culture doesn't make any revenue. And I said, I would argue that nothing else will. Mm -hmm. and, 
and a client is only is going to smell that in the room. They want to know you actually like each other and respect each other. And you all have a lot to respect when you look to your left and look to your right. And make sure that you know while you're all looking for jobs and you're all competing, but you're competing together and you have respect for each other because everybody in this room has something to add and everybody in this room is going to make you better. And never forget that because I once was in a pitch when a client said to me afterwards, why would we like you? You don't like each other. Um, so yeah. you can smell it, they can smell it, and you know what? Remember that you were all chosen together and you all add value, and it's a pretty amazing group, so appreciate the others around you. And I wanted to be careful, her. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I will caution you that if you do not have an answer right now, that is fine, so don't answer, but think about it. Um, as Jeff's quote uh, stated, you shouldn't necessarily have to explain the message, um, which means for you all and keeping yourself focused as fast paced as this is going to be and as quickly as your minds are going to work. Um, you won't always have time to recite your mission statement as great as it is. So can any of you who already know share with me how you will keep the mission and message of 15 Hertz present? as you go very quickly through this process, whether it's a talisman, whether it's a word, whether it's a picture, that your backdrop, do any of you have that already figured on how you're gonna keep yourself centered? So the word that we, everything that we do is resonate. So whatever we've been doing, it's always 15 hertz, it's always resonate. We need to make sure everything resonates in what we do. Like I said, resonate is something that you can feel and something that will last. So that's what we work by. Um, just just to add on to that um, well to resonate uh, one thing that definitely gives you feeling is music so while we're in our hub while we're you know grinding out we always like to stop and have a, a dance minute you know a, a turn up hour you know, so, uh, let's be honest let's do that let's be honest so, or a turn up second we you know, tend to have seconds Second, <laughs> just to get the feeling, just to shake it off and, and, and recapture the feelings that we have embedded in our mission. You know, Larry asked a question to all of you about the, um, she thought about Margaret Graham. I urge all of you to take three or four minutes of his time and your time to talk to Lincoln about the passion and the deep feeling and meaning that we to the whole concept of Marcus Graham. Some of you know that that's my son, I'm real proud of <laughs> But the fact of the matter is, it took me years to understand what he was. <laughs> <laughs> and, and he was living with me every day. <laughs> but once I understood the concept and the passion that went into Marcus Graham, like 10 years ago, a <laughs> moment for me to understand and watch all of you come in as a loop. And I've seen every class that ever come through. But you got to talk to him and Larry, just reading it on the website and, and getting through the interview and being smart and all that. You need to understand his passion because it'll make you cry. Mm -hmm. That's true. That is true. That is true. Is true. Like good cry or bad cry? Both. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say the same thing also. Uh, I've known him for quite a while and, uh, and have always uh, supported from afar and, and we never had talked about this yet but I know at some point everyone is, is looking for jobs uh, at the end of the day and there's uh, employers here as well um, but I actually work for the creative group which is part of Robert Half and we're a placement agency so I think most of you here are creatives I've heard art directors uh, creative directors I've heard copywriters <laughs> we do place those I'm personally not a recruiter but we, I do work with the recruiters I'm on the business development side but at the end of the program, I would be more than happy to speak with Lincoln and, and get your contact information. I know some of you live in different areas, but we are an international company, so we may have an office that's close to you. So I just wanted to put that out there. Thank you so much. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Okay. Um, and the comment is simply that I've seen when you guys were yesterday doing your first dry run and only right now, and you guys really stepped it up and really simplified your approach. And I think everyone here in the audience can testify that they understood what you're trying to do. Versus when you guys first did it, you were nervous and you were full of big words. But now you're simple and you're full of uh, <coughs> you straight to the point of how you can add value to it. A brand or product or agency. So, uh, good luck and congratulations. So we're going to do a little something, kind of a, uh, a a little bit of a ritual that is kind of new to this year. But first, before we do that, I do want to recognize three individuals. Um, two of our advisory board members, Sharon Harris from Microsoft. And, and Becca Wegman, who's the CEO here at, at, at TM. And, and most of you have already met Terry Bauer. She's here at TM. And our immediate past board of director member, uh, Calvin Stevens. <laughs> yeah, you, you kicked you out. <laughs> so John's going to explain this little ritual here. So, so for, for uh, 2013, I'm now the alumni manager and recruiting manager here at MGP, which I'm extremely proud of to keep the legacy going inside of the family, which is great. Um, approaching, you see the past alum at, uh, from the Marcus Lear Project, and we all have something, you know, it's a boot camp where we wear tags to symbolize our names that we've chosen for ourselves for the summer boot camps, um, as well as our names. Uh, that our parents gave us. And so we'd like to bestow upon you all the first step is to be, you know, being uh, indoctrinated into the MGP family. So as we call your name here, please step up so one of the alum can place the uh, dog tags around your neck and, uh, and, and we say welcome. <clears throat> Mr. Alex Tyree. Thank you. 
positive energy to these 15 and in the hopefully not so hot potentially rainy summer here <laughs> <laughs> So again, thanks for everyone for coming out. Um, I think there's still a little bit more breakfast out there if you're hungry. Um, and uh, keep up keep up with us throughout the summer. Our first lemonade, Sam, will be at our office on Friday. A uh, little happy hour and every Friday following. And we'll end the week of August 14th. So thank you so much. I'd like to make an announcement before everyone leaves. I know you, you, we have a schedule ahead of us throughout the day at 15 Hertz. We have to do <coughs> orientations and, and a guest speaker. Uh, I know a lot of you may want to exchange ideas, get to know more of us. So we would like to invite you to resonate with us uh, back at the MTP office between the hours of 6 and 8 today, if you have the availability. Thank you. Four, no, it should be 4 and 6. six and eight. Four and six? Four and six. Five and seven. <laughs> Five and seven. Five, fifteen, seven, fifteen? All right. All right. <laughs>
I'm <laughs> 